so please ensure that you've seen the previous video where i talked about the materials and supplies i'll be needing for this corset and also divided the measurements okay please make sure you've seen that and after you're done and you understand how the measurements are going to be taken and how to divide it let's just go ahead and draft out the corset pattern Now on my table, I have my pattern paper and also a book that I have gone ahead to write down the steps that I need to follow. And please ensure you do this so that when you're drafting, you don't make a mistake. It is necessary you have those steps until you get used to them, okay? Now, how do you fold your pattern or your fabric? When folding, you always fold according to your width. And the length that you're working with now the width of this pattern paper here for me is going to be my round bust divided by four plus three inches if your top length gets to your hip just go ahead and use your round hip divided by four plus two inches now for the length of this top girl just go ahead and make it as long as you want okay but yeah it's a top though <laughs> not a dress okay so this is um the first thing we need to talk about okay for those people that are using the fabric and not the pattern please i just want to let you know that it is okay for you to use your fabric to draft out this particular corset so go ahead and fold your fabric into two just as i just did on my pattern and if you have a pattern paper you don't need to fold into two okay now like i said the width for me is going to be my round bust divided by four plus three inches now please don't tell me you don't know how to divide because there was a video previously before this one that talked about that okay so yeah this is the width and then the length of my top right here on the pattern paper i have 20 inches and the length is up to you girl go ahead and mark how long you want your corset to be now the first step is for me to eliminate five to six inches out of this pattern or even seven inches okay and what i'm just trying to do is indicate the fact that i don't need the shoulder to the chest point but then i need to have the allowance on the pattern so when i place my cup it's just going to have that extra pattern to make my curves and all that okay so i'm just going to place my tape from the top of my pattern and i'll mark seven inches down so yeah this seven inches is just where we're going to start marking all measurements from okay please note this now the step two is for me to mark my vertical measurement which is the point now the first point is going to be the bust point and this line here is going to represent the line for the bust point okay so what i just did right here I have eliminated the chest and the shoulder and I have my bust point as the starting line. So this is what I'm showing you. This is my nipple point line on the pattern paper here. And that is what I am starting with. Now because my bust point is 10 inches, that is my bust point for my shoulder. I'm going to place 10 inches from that new line we have where I have my bust point written. I'm going to place 10, the 10 inches like this and then go down to mark my under bust point i hope you get this now the line is my bust line and i'm just going to go down from that 10 inches and mark my under bust line so this line here is my under bust and the next line I need to mark or the next point is my waist point, okay? And to mark this, I'll place my tip again from that 10 inches, which is the first line and that is the boss point. I'm just going to place the 10 inches there and I'll mark my waist line. So you should have your boss line, your under boss line and the next is your waist line. So yeah, the next thing for me to do is mark the length of my top. And the length of my top is going to be 20 inches. And to do this, I have to place my tape from the 10 inches, which is my bust line, and then go down to mark 20 inches, okay? You can see the 10 is where my bust line is sitting, okay? 
and then i'm just going down to mark my length this is what we did for the underbust the waist and we're doing that now for the length please hope you got this part because this is the foundation okay this foundation needs to be strong and it needs to be clear okay now please and um, please for the beginners please go ahead and confirm your points you should have your bust points you should have your under bust points you should have your waist points and then your hip points Now the step three is on the bust point i'm just going to go ahead and mark half an inch upwards and then mark half an inch in to create this center front here i'm just going to go up by half an inch and this is how it looks on your tape half an inch is this this is it half an inch i'll place my tape like this and mark half an inch up And on the half an inch, I'm going to go in by half an inch, okay? So I'm just going to go in again by half an inch on this half an inch here. I'll go in by half an inch and we just created the center front, okay? I'll connect this back to the bust line like this with a straight line. And yeah, this foundation is ready for us to place the bra cup. And step four is for me to place my bra cup on the pattern. And this is how I'm going to be doing it. Now, this is a bra cup and I'm using a size 34 and that is my size for my breast. So this is the bra cup that I'm going to be using. And what I need to do now is from that half an inch that I went up by and I marked another half an inch in, I'm just going to place the cup on that point okay you can see where the arrow is showing you i'm just going to place my cup from that point and i'll make sure that my cup sits directly on my underboss please and please do not press this down do not force the cup do not press it down just make sure that the cup is sitting at the underboss line indicate that it is sitting there make sure confirm and then don't press all you have to do now is to trace the cup okay you can see that the point is starting from the half an inch here and then see where it is stopping now on the side wherever it stops does not matter okay just go ahead and trace your cup and whatever we have there we're just going to extend it out so just go ahead and trace your cup so you can see the way i'm tracing the cup i'm not pressing the cup i'm just holding it slightly and now i'm just going to go ahead and trace this and you can see that the cup is sitting directly on the underboss line and then i'll just stop at where i have my half an inch and this is the cup we need for the corset god i was so impressed with this step like when i did it and it came out this nice i was so impressed with myself now what i'll go ahead and do is i'm just going to mark half an inch around this curve okay this curve we just created i'm just going to come up by half an inch and this is how it looks this is half an inch okay so see what i'm doing go ahead and follow exactly what i am doing mark half an inch round your curve your breast curve okay i hope you have been able to get the steps to this point and if you have just go ahead and like this video don't forget to do that you guys always forget to do that you guys always make me cry for your likes okay please don't let me cry <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you're new go ahead and subscribe and yeah you can comment on the comment section to let me know what you need to know if you have a question if you have anything to ask please go ahead and ask on the comment section okay so I'm just marking the half an inch around the curve and once I am done, I'm just going to adjust this, okay? And then extend this line. Now, you can see that the line came up a little bit from the bust line. I'm just going to extend this and this is going to be the new chest line, okay? Now, you guys, you can see that what we did here, the side does not matter what happened at the side does not matter as far as we have our cup sitting from that center front so whatever you have on the side you just go ahead and extend it later and yes 
at that side itself you can decide to come down and then when you're extending you extend with a slant if you can do that you can do that but yeah this is how my corset pattern is looking and i hope you've gotten to this part now i'm just going to place my cup again to confirm what i have done and you can see that it is sitting well and it is sitting properly and this stage is done now step five is for me to divide my round measurements by four and we just finished a video previously on how to divide okay please just let me know if you've seen it it's a playlist so you should have seen it the first point i'm just going to divide is my round bust i'll divide my round bust by four and i'll mark this down on the bust line And I will extend the line up to the new chest line. I'll move over to my underbust. I'll divide my round underbust by four and I'll mark this down on the underbust line. In case you need coverage for this corset, I would advise you to go a size bigger than yours, one size bigger than your own size, and use that cup to create, okay? So I'll connect this and then I'll move over to my waistline. I'll divide my round waist by four and I'll mark this down on the waistline. So, so whatever you're dividing should sit on its point, okay? That is why we indicated the point first before dividing. So whatever you're dividing should sit on its point. So round waist is going to sit on the waist point and I'll connect this. Now, for the people that um, are going to make their corset as long as getting to their upper hip line, what you're going to do on your upper hip line is to divide your round hip by four and you mark that down on your hip point, okay? If your length gets almost close to your hip point, then divide your round hip by four and mark this down on the length. So that is what I just said here on my notes. I'm just going to do that here on this pattern, even though my did not get up to i just wanted you guys to see and understand this part okay so i'll divide my round hip by four and mark this down and then i'll connect so once i am done connecting there's always room for me to adjust i'll just go ahead and use my curve ruler to adjust the points that i need to adjust before i go into the next step which is adding off allowance Now, the step six is adding allowance. Now, at this point, please go ahead and add as much as allowance that you want to add, okay? And why I'm saying this is that most of you might be on the bigger side and you need that plenty allowance so that when you're joining, you can now take off those allowance, okay? So, go ahead and add how much you want to add. I am adding one inch and that is going to be enough for me. You can add 1.5, you can add 2. Please don't forget to sew that in when you're sewing at last, okay? Do not forget to sew in the allowance you left, okay? Now, step 7 is for me to cut out this front pattern before we create the front backs effect okay or basic i don't know how to pronounce it <laughs> i know a lot of you will be like every video i watch these guys always say i don't know how to pronounce it yes i have the problem and i always admit it i have problem with pronunciation but yeah once i'm done cutting i'm just gonna go ahead and create the backs effect on the front on the center front Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to help me share, okay? Please do that. Thank you. May that say why. So this is the result, and this is how my pattern is looking, and let's go into the next step. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and label this so you guys remember what we just did and yeah now step eight is for us to create the front backs or backsick whatever but you know the effect okay where my arrow is right now to create that i'm going to come down from the waist point by one inch and i'm just going to do this on the normal measurement i did not the allowance i added because um of the hip 
you know the hip almost affected the pattern because i was trying to do an illustration for you but yeah and on the center front of my pattern i'm just going to go in by 1.5 inch so i'll place my tape on this is the center front in case you, you have forgotten i'll connect this right here with my curve ruler the 1.5 inch from the center front to the side waist one inch down I'm just going to connect. You can see the way I placed my curve ruler and this is how it's going to look at last when I'm done sewing, okay? Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the unnecessary pattern or the unwanted pattern so you guys can see the effect. And uh, on this point, when I get to the one inch down, I'm just going to make sure that I continue to the allowance but making sure that it is one inch, okay? And this is it. This is how it looks. So this is the result for my front pattern and let's go ahead and create the back pattern okay the back pattern is the simplest thing in this video very simple straightforward now i have my pattern paper here and i'm just going to place my front pattern on this pattern paper just this way just the way i'm doing it right now i'll place it i'll use my pin to pin this down and you can see the way i placed it i have allowance on the top of it and i have allowance at the down so Whatever I'm going to do is just going to be safe because, yeah, I placed it in the manner where I have allowance to play around with. So I'm just pinning down my front pattern on this new pattern. And now I'm going to trace. Watch the way I'm just going to trace my front pattern. Now on the side here, I'll trace this out. Now ignore your front, your center front on the pattern, okay? Just trace out just your side like this. And then continue tracing your side to the center back, okay? This is it. Trace it straight up. Ignore your cup side, your center front on the front part and the cup. Ignore this and just trace from your side straight to the center back. And then trace the side like this, just the way I'm doing. See the way I'm doing it? I just trace the side and now I'm using my curve ruler to indicate that curve I have on the waist. Like I was saying, when you're tracing this, trace from your side to your center back. Ignore, this is the side, we have the S, okay, it's the side. I just traced the side and I took the line to the center back and then I traced the side too to the length, okay? And this is all we need to trace on the new pattern. I'm just going to take off the paints from my front pattern. And now I'm just going to make my lines clearer now. What I have gone ahead to do here is I have successfully traced out the length of my front pattern on this new pattern and also trace out the width, okay? Like I said, it's always width and length. And I'm just going to make this clearer. Now I'm going to cut this out. I'm just going to cut out the pattern. And you can see that I did not add any other allowance because what we just traced out is from the front pattern and the front pattern already has all the allowance that it needs okay so right here on this pattern i don't need any other allowance or the half an inch and the one inch on the side is on this particular pattern and i'm just going to label this this is going to be the upper part the top this is the base This is the side, okay? Like I keep screaming, this is the side. And you, this other side here is the center back. Now, from the center back, I'm just going to cut out four inches from the center back. And I'm trying to create this space, okay? So that when I put in my loops, I'm just going to have enough space to drag my loops, okay? That's to drag my straps, okay? That is what I'm going to do now. This here is the center back. I'm just going to go in by four inches inches so i'm placing my tape i'm going in by four inches from the center back okay please do not forget you're going in from the center back please go ahead and confirm your pattern well so you know where the center back is and this is the center back where i'm taking off four inches let me label this out so this is the center back and from the center back i have gone ahead to take off four inches so i'll cut this out 
and please don't forget to label out your pattern this is very very important okay label out your pattern it is important you do that and this is the result so this is how the pattern is going to be when i cut on the fabric you can see the space that i'm going to have and up next is for us to use a masking tape on the bra cup so please stay tuned and learn how to do this it's going to be detailed as this particular one or even more detailed and you guys thank you for watching this particular episode um love and lights to you i'll be seeing you on the next one thank you again bye for now